Welcome to Santorini. Santorini, a Greek island that's famous for its picturesque whitewashed villages and unique landscapes that are so beautiful that they seem otherworldly. Most tourists visit this beautiful island in high season from April to October. This is when you'll find the best weather, but also the biggest crowds. If you go during the off season, you'll definitely avoid the crowds, but does that alone make it worth visiting? Well, in this video, we'll show you what Santorini is like during the off season between November and March, giving you a heads up on the weather you can expect, the things you can do, the things you can't do, and all the pros and cons of visiting Santorini during the low season, all in this episode of Lucas World Travel. So let's get started by showing you what one of the villages is like during the off season. So we just parked in one of the free parking lots in the town of Firo Stefani. Let's go see what it's like here. And we're in the central square and they have this nice platform here where you can get a viewpoint of the island. And this spot is lovely guys. So you can see Oya on the hill. You can see this mountain with all the different layers and striations. You can see the volcano islands across the water. I mean, this one is really inspiring. Even in the off season, this is just amazing. Now, one bad thing about traveling during the off season is that all these beautiful restaurants wiped by the water are closed. Oh. So if you're wanting to get a quick drink or enjoy some food with a beautiful view, chances are the spot you want is going to be closed for the season. So if you enjoy having easy access to restaurants, coming in the off season might not be for you. As we walked down the narrow paths of Firo Stefani, we were surprised to have the whole village to ourselves, with only this cat for company. Hi, kitty. This is a pro if you love peace and quiet, but this can also be a con if you love lots of activity and a bustling atmosphere. For us, it was a pro as we do love a quiet, peaceful setting. In addition, the locals have been really friendly here, saying hello, saying hello or yes, us to us as we pass by. So it's a really nice small town, more village type of feel here. I like that about the island. And I like that if you can go down these different alleyways and get these unique and different views, even though it's the same set, but it's just yeah. gorgeous from different angles. Yeah. So when you walk down the main street of Firo Stefani, you're going to see the Church of Hieronymus and St. Mark Church. The most iconic spot though is St. Mary's Church, which has the three bells of Fira. So up in this parking lot is where you get the most iconic view of the Virgin Mary Church. Another advantage of traveling out of season is that we're getting some great unexpected views and pictures. There's no one else around, so we're able to have certain photo spots all to ourselves. And that's another great thing about traveling off season. Next stop, Thera. Now another good thing about traveling during the off season is that we're actually able to find parking. I hear a lot of people when they come in season that ridding a car is almost impossible because you won't find a place to park. Now Thera is actually one of the most lively villages during the off season and is where we found most of the open restaurants at. These mushrooms are really good. They're juicy, they're tasty. David got the pasta. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, though, there were still a lot of businesses shut for the season when we were there in February. Despite the closures, though, you can still enjoy the beautiful steeple at St. John the Baptist Church as well as the view from the Nomi Coast Conference Center. Now when I suggest walking to the conference center behind me here, 
I'm not wanting you to go have a conference. I'm wanting you to come check out this beautiful view of Vera. And it's just lovely because as you look down, you can see the rocky terrain that goes all the way down to the port. This is a stunning vista. Back in the center of Thera, we visited the Candlemas Orthodox Church before heading to a museum. So next stop, we're going to the Museum of Prehistoric Thera. Tickets are three euros a person. So this museum is quite interesting. It has two levels of exhibits. One with pottery that's almost perfectly preserved because of a volcanic eruption that happened 3,700 years ago. At that time, the city of Akrotiri was buried by volcanic ash, and all the people who survived the eruption abandoned the city to rebuild elsewhere. Because of that, you have a lot of pottery that is completely intact, color preserved, and pottery as old as 2000 BC, so very impressive. They also have a lot of frescoes, so you can see how beautifully these ancient homes were painted. So I highly recommend this museum, as well as the actual archaeological site, the prehistoric town of Akrotiri, if you are interested in learning even more about this fascinating old town. One bad thing about traveling off season is that my hair is all over the place because it is so windy. In the forecast for this week, there is very high wind strength, so that can be quite annoying. And it can even be a little bit dangerous when you're standing on the side of a cliff and it feels like the wind is about to knock you off of it. Despite the high winds though, we still continued on to our next destination. So now we're by the Akrokiri Lighthouse to see the sunset. And it's windy as all get out. I'm a little bit scared to get out the car. <laughs> it's windy and it's cold, but the wind is strong enough to blow us off this mountain. So we're hoping that we'll come back to the car <laughs> and give a little insight on how the thing looked. So again, low season, only two cars. We got this place all to ourselves, but you can hear the wind, right? It's noisy. And there's the lighthouse. Now you don't come out here to see the lighthouse itself. You come out here for the view at sunset. in between two boulders so it's actually quite horrible it's the same amount of wind but the boulders break the wind and it's much more enjoyable I love this view it's incredible and if you stay long enough you can see the light in the lighthouse come on so this really was a nice way to end our first full day in Santorini and we'll see you tomorrow and it's day two in Santorini and this is gonna be our best weather day of the week, so we're very excited about it. So we drove down to Ia, which is the most popular spot in the island, and we're gonna take a tour around this village. But first, please stand by for the donkey parade. Hello, Yasas. So the first thing we're stopping to see are the windmills. So just in general, you want to try to take your time and walk down the main paths of the village and just enjoy all the unique houses and all the unique views at every corner.
So from Ia Castle, you're going to get great views of both sides of the village of Ia. It's truly lovely up here, and you can get great photos from the platforms up here. So now we're walking down to Amuri Bay, the beach in Ia. So it's a 10 minute hike down to the Amuri Bay. So you really gotta want it when you wanna go to the beach in Ia. Uh, I am kind of dreading the hike back up, but let's see what this beach is like. Now, so far, not one single thing has been opened in Ia. So I do not recommend staying here in the off season. This is only a high season type of place. Um, if you're coming to Santorini in the off season, you should definitely stay in Fira so you can have easy access to buses, um, the few restaurants that are open, and just some liveliness in general. So I love these beautiful walls in this color, especially contrast to the water. So when you come down here, be sure to uh, wear some comfortable shoes. And uh, if you wear knee braces, go ahead and bring those too, because I feel pressure on my knees coming down that staircase. So the water looks lovely, very blue green. It's cold. So David, are you going to jump in? I don't think I'm going to jump in today. Oh, okay. And that's another con of coming in the off season. The water may be gorgeous to look at, but it is a bit too cold for swimming. So another disadvantage about traveling to Santorini in the off season is they won't necessarily have the boat tours that you'd like to go on. So yesterday and today have been the best weather, but evidently the weather is still not good enough on the sea to take their boats out to do the little tours. So we won't get to go to the volcano island or swim in the thermal springs. Very disappointed. We'll have to come back in high season for those. Well, now we're on our way to the Red Beach. So from the parking lot, it's about a seven minute walk up through a hiking trail. So we'll take you with us. Let's go. <music> fascinating landscape. I'm enjoying this a lot. The walls are red and this is black sand beach. It's like walking on top of volcano sand or something. It's just really weird. It's, you're on a beach where the sand is black. It's so cool. Then they got white stones on top of it. It's awful. <laughs> The beach also has a white side as well. No, thank you. Report back. How is it? It's cold. So now we'll show you where we stayed for seven nights in Santorini. We stayed in Finica a small village about 10 minutes away from Ia. Come on inside. The first thing you're going to notice is the whitewashed walls, and it looks like you're in a cave dwelling, right? The rounded walls and all the smooth curved lines. And this is our living room area. Now this particular house was a winery at one point, and they converted it to a living place. So here is the bedroom. When this was a winery, the bedroom area was the area where they would swish the grapes. And then they drain the fluids or drain the wine or what would become the wine into this area here. Now this is the dining area. So this, this is going to be, this is the kitchen area as you can see. Just some basic cabinets put against these walls. <laughs> Come on inside. Okay. So, as you can see, this wasn't a bathroom before. They fixed it and made it into a bathroom. But that's the shower. And you can tell the ceiling is fairly low because I could like, I can't even extend my arm all the way up. 
So now that it's morning, we can show you the best part of our property. And that's the outside and the view. Over here is the best view. So we could have a meal here if we wanted and just enjoy this lovely sea view. And if you come inside, this is our sea view from inside the house. One good thing about traveling all season is that we got this accommodation for just $67 a night instead of the standard $140 a night during high season. So traveling during off season is definitely more affordable. Another con though is the weather. During our first two days in Santorini, we were stuck inside due to rain and hail. Now, I don't know if you can see this on camera, but there's hail outside. <laughs> so that's not a good sign for how the weather's gonna be for the next few days. It's supposed to be bad weather for the next uh, two to three days and then fine after that. So we're gonna be inside. Luckily, the rest of the days that we had were beautiful, albeit windy. So now we're taking a hike to the heart of Santorini which is a rock that has a hole in it where you can see great views of the town. So we wound up wasting 30 minutes going the wrong way. The trail starts uh, just past this post here, not toward the windmill. You live and you learn. So round two, trying to find the heart of Santorini. So this part of the trail is developed. <laughs> stairs opens to a nice church steeple so it is a quite nice view i think this is it now if this is the heart they're talking about it only takes five minutes to get here but i think there's more going down so we're going to continue down so if you continue down the stairs you'll also see three bells of a church steeple the flag and just beautiful views in general and even though it's a super windy day today, the trail is developed enough that I do still feel safe walking on it. Now really and truly, I can't even tell it looks like a heart, but not a bad activity, not a must see in Santorini, but if you have some extra time, why not see the heart of Santorini? On our last day, we drove up to ancient Thera. It's very steep, it is very curvy. So essentially, you would have to drive up here. I don't think any bus comes up here. So now we're in ancient Thera. This is an archeological site and it dates back to the 9th century BC. Um, but there's beautiful views of the surrounding areas and quite interesting to walk through this uh, ancient museum. And when I say this site has some great views. This is what I mean. So even if you don't enjoy the history, you might enjoy the view. So right here was the main city square and they would have had altars to Zeus and Athena here. And here we have the ancient statue of David. He's been here since second century BC. Oh, he moves too. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see the ancient streets of this town that go up and see just how expansive the city was. We really enjoyed learning a bit more about the history here and taking in all of the stunning views. To end our time in Santorini, we decided to spend some time at the beach. I really must say though, I am enjoying my time in Santorini. Even though it's off season, even though a lot of things are closed, and even though we had some bad weather, I still think it's worth it. I probably wouldn't fly all the way from the US here for the off season, but because we were already traveling, because we were already nearby, it's worth a stop by when you're in the area. It really felt like we had Santorini all to ourselves, which made our trip so special and enjoyable. We were alone with our thoughts and feelings as we took in the beautiful views, and can't help but to say that Santorini, while magnificent in season, still has so much beauty to offer in the off season. 
For even more travel tips, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to get even more videos from Europe and Latin America coming soon. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for sharing with all your travel buddies and happy travel planning until next time.